Siddhu Musewala's murder. And I think AGTF was the first team to... So is there something else in that case? Kuch aisa arrest hai jo haje Siddhu Musewala case chhoon wala hai. The investigation is continuing as far as the main accused, the conspirators are um, con concerned. Goldie Brad uh, is one of the main uh, conspirators, and Mool is uh, another one. So, as far as that goes, yes, they are still wanted. And uh, maybe there are few others also. RPG attack in uh, uh, Mohali as well as uh, in Sarhali police station. Persons who were involved were, in that case, Landa was involved. So, the persons who were apprehended were minors, 18 years, 19 years, 20 years. And how much were they paid? Some, some were paid 10,000, got them uh, treated for uh, pizzas and burgers and only, they were... Only, oh, yeah, yeah. only for this thing they will attack the police officers? They, they don't even know that, what they are doing. Investigations had revealed that Ramanjit Romi was also linked up with those um, radicals who were based abroad in Pakistan and probably there was a connection between ISI, Sikh radicals and Romi. Are most of the gangsters now in Canada? You can say that they are in Canada and even in the uh, US and uh, in another country like in Germany. This particular operation to get Romi from Hong Kong was called by the name of Bruce Lee. The Rona has started the fire, they opened the fire. So in retaliation, we fire Kita and they got neutralized. We have uh, near about 10 we have neutralized so far and uh, arrests are more than uh, hardcore criminal ne, like Naba jailbreak, main accused, Gurpi Sekho, others. But this guy, Romi, was the one who figured in every arrest that Romi is uh, controlling them, he's handling them. So our main mission and our main uh, point was there to arrest him soon. So, you have any experience, you interrogate kar de, you spend time with them. Why do they become gangsters? They become icons because of the social media, they portray themselves uh, or they are portrayed as larger than life image, they carry larger than life images. There would be so many people who would be trying to follow Lawrence Bishnoi and trying to seek his attention by asking him to give him some task so that they can prove their worth and maybe join the gang. One day or the other, law is going to catch you. And once you have a criminal record, there is no future left for you. You know, you will not get a job even in a private sector. In today's Decode Punjab show of the Tribune, we have not one, but three elite guests. You may have read or heard about stories about gangsters, their profiles, their lives. But the, peop the officers, the police officers who catch them, often stay away from the limelight. For the first time, three officers from the elite anti-gangster task force have come on a TV show. And this is Decode Punjab show of the Tribune. These are AIG Gurmeet Singh Chauhan, Harvinder Singh Virk and Bikram Jeet Singh Brav. These are highly decorated police officers and they are encyclopedias on the number of gangs in Punjab, their hideouts, their working and everything. This theme has recently brought back Ramanjit Romi, one of the most notorious gangster come terrorist who was uh, main accused and planner in the Naba jailbreak case. We start with Chauhan Saab. Sir, how big is the arrest of roaming gangster? And how do you keep these operations secret? Whenever an uh, operation is launched by the anti-gangster task force, um, for the purpose of uh, maintaining of secrecy and operational uh, purposes, we name uh, the operations with uh, a certain uh, camouflaged kind of a name. So, um, this particular operation to get Romi from Hong Kong was called um, by the name of Bruce Lee. Similarly, um, the other operations were also um, uh, the operations carried out to nab the uh, killers of uh, uh, Shubhdeep Singh Sidhu Musewala, where uh, was named Bonnie and Clyde. Um, and the operation in which uh, Vicky Gonder was arrested, uh, sorry, uh, neutralized in a police action in uh, Rajasthan, was called uh, uh, Operation Daybreak. Uh, besides that, various other uh, operations are always uh, codenamed, we give them a code name, and uh, the our staff within the unit, and that is basically to maintain secrecy, and also for the purpose of uh, building the record in our own uh, secret way. 
since you are aware uh, the jailbreak uh, in naba maximum security took place in, on 27th of november 2016 um it was a very sensational crime and uh, one of its kind which has never happened where um, we had about 15 to 16 criminals armed with the weapons who came and attacked the naba jail they gained entry by uh, in a car where four to five criminals were dressed in the police uniform and uh, they brought along a criminal with them uh, who ha- who was uh, kind of like handcuffed mm. they put they brought him as a decoy to and this was the main naba security jail security jail outside the the main very first gate on the road itself so they were stopped by the police uh, the du- uh, duty officials there hmm. uh, which consisted of uh, pesco uh, and um, the punjab police so looking at the uniform and without verifying they let them yeah. let the first vehicle come into the jail premises so as soon as the first vehicle uh, the vehicle entered the remaining uh, criminals accomplices of the uh, these criminals um barged into the gate uh, through the gates and overpowered the gates uh, the security people at the gate and no including th- the sentry no such jailbreak had happened earlier no this was one of its kind i mean there have been jailbreaks where uh, criminals have escaped from jail in a different manner mm-hmm. but um, probably one odd incident had taken place in uh, uh, a naxal belt in um, jharkhand or bihar okay. way back so this was one of its kind mm-hmm. so as soon as um, Uh, this incident took place um, it was uh, taken very seriously um, two terrorists of the khalistan liberation force and four criminal hardened criminals including vicky gonder uh, gurpreet sekho um, apna amandeep totia and nita deol uh, six min- of them harminder the mintu was yeah. one of the klf guy he was a chief of uh, in uh, khalistan liberation force front in punjab so all six of them managed to escape this was very daring and a big challenge to punjab police so um, we were associated uh, with this right from day one so we have been tracking we um, as a team worked on the punjab police took it as a challenge and uh, since then um, the first arrest that was made uh, the very next day mm-hmm. uh, led us to a very important revelation that this uh, the whole operation was being controlled from uh, abroad uh, by a guy in uh, hong kong so we got some preliminary uh, inputs about his uh, you know uh, uh, his phone numbers and stuff we worked on that and uh, ultimately zeroed on, uh, on this character uh, called uh, ramanjit romi so um, later on the uh, some of the escapees including uh, nita deol and gurpreet sekho and all the arrests that were taking place were pointing out towards one person who was figuring uh, who was common in uh, in all the interrogations and uh, that, that was the ramanjit singh romi so he was uh, he turned out to be uh, one of the main um, uh, planners the mastermind the conspirator the facilitator uh, he provided um, he was doing all this from hong kong uh, he was uh, based in hong kong at that time um so how, how was he communicating with them oh, well uh, he was communicating through telecommun uh, the telephones uh, but any criminal who had escaped or was who was participating in this operation was not talking to anybody uh, in india directly okay. they were all the calls were being routed through hong kong so if gurpreet sekho wanted to talk to say uh, nita deol who was uh, after they had escaped from the jail so he would call romi mm-hmm. and romi had nita deol's number so he would dial his number from another phone and connect them through um uh, a b c yeah through a voice uh, kind of a system mm-hmm. um, so they they would e- both talk to each other but they, uh, nita deol would not get to know uh, gurpreet sekho's number mm-hmm. because the number would be of uh, a hong kong based number okay so they, this was a very good camouflage uh, way to hide the and mask the phone numbers and identities of the callers for where they were calling and neither of them knew who where the other was so that was a very challenging task to uh, apprehend to get after them to and we were able to nab all of them um except one uh, we first first of all managed to get uh, 
Harminder Bindu was caught in uh, Delhi uh, right. on the very next day, next morning. Then uh, Nita Deol was brought from uh, Madhya Pradesh in uh, Ujjain or something. So a separate operation was carried out. Then in, in the month of February 2017, we managed to get uh, Gurpreet Sekho and uh, a few others who were involved in the, uh, you know, who had attacked from outside. Thereafter, this uh, the investigation progressed and our pursuit continued. Um, we got uh, Vicky Gonder in uh, and Prema Lahoria in 2018 January. So the the entire focus of the team at that time uh, we had formed the unit called Organized Crime Control Unit. So the focus of the team was to uh, main task was to apprehend all the conspirators and persons involved in this. And Romi was the and Romi was one of the main uh, uh -huh. guys who was. Uh, How big is his network? How well, was he operating? He, he is, um, uh, I'll just uh, shed some more light on his, uh, he belongs to Bhatinda district basically. Mm -hmm. And he is related to one of the criminals or gangsters, who, whosoever we, uh, howsoever we call them, a guy called Rami Mishana. Right. So he is a uh, first cousin of his. And he, that uh, Rami Mishana and Vicky Gonder and Gurpreet Sekho had carried out number of uh, criminal uh, activities, including murders. Mm -hmm. including the murder of uh, a, a cousin of Lawrence Bishnoi also. So that is why the this uh, gangs, the the, uh, the inter-gang rivalry between Lawrence Bishnoi and the Shirakuban uh, gang, that, that there the genesis lies in that incident in uh, which a cousin of uh, Lawrence Bishnoi was killed in village Chutala. Mm -hmm. uh, that, so he being a cousin of uh, this uh, Raman, uh, Rami Mishana got in touch with all these uh, rest of the guys. Incidentally, what happened is in June 2016, he visited India. He is a permanent resident of uh, Hong Kong. So he came to visit India, but um, he was loitering around the premises of Naba jail in the area of Naba uh, city. So on from his possession, on he was arrested on suspicion. So but from his possession, we recovered illegal weapon. Uh, and some uh, credit cards. So you you had caught him before the jailbreak. Oh, of course, in okay. June 2016. Okay. So uh, when he was apprehended, he had a lot of uh, credit cards with mm -hmm. stolen data, which he had procured from Chinese gangs in based in Hong Kong. So he, he had come with an intention to use those credit cards. Mm -hmm. uh, he is basically a money launderer, be, okay. being based in Hong Kong. He launders money for some Chinese gangs and smugglers there, including, um, you know, uh, ultimately when money uh, money laundering takes place, you do not know the source of the money. So mm -hmm. money could be terrorist, uh, could be used in terrorist crime or g drugs or anything. So he was involved in that. So incidentally, he was caught and apprehended and we sent him to jail in uh, Naba. Right. That is where he again got in touch with these guys. And that's the genesis of the jailbreak, which uh, then he met all those guys who escaped from the jail. And so later he was bailed out in the month of August and he violated the terms of uh, the uh, bail conditions imposed by the court mm -hmm. and managed to flee to Hong Kong. He went back on He went back to Hong Kong. And th from there, he coordinated the whole uh, operation, which took place in uh, November 2016. So we have heard that how Punjabis are doing big in Canada gangs, you know. But this is the first time we are hearing that one Punjabi was involved with Chinese gangs also. Of course, uh, he has a uh, very checkered past. In fact, I, I'll um, come to that maybe later. If you want, I can just yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 add. So once we got his uh, warrants issued. Um, from the local courts, he was declared a proclaimed offender. You had identified yeah, we have and uh, you had uh, zeroed in on his location in Hong Kong? No, not exactly his location, but we knew that he is a Hong Kong national. Okay. So, we uh, our process is that we uh, first get a person, criminal, who is involved in a case, a uh, proclaimed offender. And then, we through the Interpol, we get the red corner notices issued. So we got his red corner notice issued mm -hmm. in the month of uh, in the 2017 uh, with the help of the Interpol division of the CBI in, uh, and the Ministry of Home Affairs. And uh, in 2018, he was arrested by the Hong Kong authorities in a different case, in a robbery of 30 crore or something. Okay. 
so once he was detained in that case the authorities realized that he is the same guy against whom there is an international warrant also pending that is when they got in touch with us and you were and we um, you know there is a procedure that we have to follow within 48 hours we have to send the first provisional arrest form hmm. so uh, the particulars and this is a, a basic uh, documentation that is required for him to be detained hmm. in that country and produced before their local courts so they have to justify uh, a criminal's arrest in their country Okay. So the Hong Kong authorities detained him, and once we uh, on, on our uh, provisional arrest uh, request. Thereafter, the process for extradition or uh, um, was taken carried out. That's another second part of it that uh, th uh, that we have to send a complete dossier of the evidences of the records of whatever we have against him within a period of 60 days to that country. So we provided that, and once th we, that was provided. We had a meeting with the Department of Justice in Hong Kong. Uh, all of us travelled, including uh, District Attorney of Patiala, who um, uh, you know accompanied us. And we tried to convince the uh, with our legal uh, evidences and our paperwork. This happened recently. Or oh, in 2018. 2018. 2018. Okay. So since then, he has been in detention in Hong Kong, based on our uh, this uh, uh, extradition request and the provisional arrest. So that was confirmed by the courts that he can be detained and a prosecution of uh, a wing of the Hong Kong, that is the Department of Justice, uh, took up the case, filed a case in the court there, which was defended by Romy through his lawyers and counsels and uh, stuff. And the court, first court allowed us, uh, the uh, our uh, allowed our request and uh, allowed him to be um, brought back to India. However, there is, was a catch in one of the, uh, the though the offences we had given, uh, we had requested were jailbreak, arms act, forgery, mm -hmm. um, you know, participating in unlawful activities, mixing up with terrorism and st stuff like that. But the Hong Kong authorities, uh, the the court there gave us permission for his prosecution only in under certain sections, uh, but not the Naba jail. Not the Naba jail. Not the Naba jail. So then that was referred to us and they sought our comments. Okay. The ministry, the consulate and the ministry of external, through the ministry of external affairs it reached us. That is when we had a dis, uh, discussion and session and ultimately it was decided that we cannot let this happen since we is the main conspirator so we have to. So it was the government of India who filed an appeal again against that order okay. or, and uh, which was taken up in the next uh, court. Um, there again, the Department of Justice and uh, our team again went there, mm. convinced them. So, the how, how, how many times uh, did you have to visit Hong Kong? This, uh, the team visited about three to four times. This, this was the fourth time actually. This was the fourth time. Thrice so, this earlier. time who went there? At this time, it was uh, Harvinder Virk uh, and Mr. Bikram and uh, one DSP Nabba uh, who was posted oh, at that time yeah. Yeah. and two, three more. Uh, so, uh, smooth Sega Virk saw extradition on the, was it smooth? This time, yeah. This time it was both, but uh, uh, earlier there was a, uh, we had uh, to face the challenges when we were uh, contesting the, the surrender of request. When the Hong Kong, the, there is, uh, it's not a word extradition, this is surrender. Surrender okay. of fugitive. Surrender of the fugitive. The, that's, a so that's a treaty uh, between uh, okay. uh, uh, India and Hong Kong, okay. 1997 based treaty, where uh, the, uh, the, the title of the treaty is Surrender of Fugitive Offenders Act. Brother, you have neutralized also so many gangsters. They बहुत ज़्यादा उनसे पकड़े भी हैं. So इस वक्त तो अड़े साब नाल रोमी नो हॉंगकॉंग तो अपन ले आए पर कनाडा दे भी चाहिए गैंगस्टर हैं जिन्हन अपन नहीं हज तक ले के आ सकते. उसे की प्रॉब्लम है क्यों नहीं ले के आ सकते? Basically जी ये जो जिधर साढ़ा काम हों दा first we we have to issue the RCN red corner notice. वो through Interpol हों दा then it depends on the Interpol and central agencies to locate and arrest him. We keep on sharing the locations. They hopefully, Jimmy to see care, we'll arrest them soon and get them back. So Canada is the big hub. Like Chauhan sir, you can throw some light. Is what kinney gangsters who are active in Punjab? Um, at the moment, there is no such uh, main gangster who is actually um, roaming free in Punjab or in India. No one active on the soil of Punjab. Uh, absolutely. So anybody who is. Uh, um, 
the, the, the crime that is taking place is on the directions of some certain criminals based abroad. So the foot soldiers, we um, we have been trying, uh, we have always arrested whenever a crime, as such there is no crime, gangster crime in Punjab which is unsolved at the moment. All crimes in Punjab have been accounted for, criminals have been All booked. crimes about the gangsters Gangsters, have been. active crimes. Mm -hmm. So there is hardly any uh, crime which uh, a gangster so has committed. There multiple murders, gang rivalry. All, all, all in, in most of them people have been arrested or who the pe persons who are yet to be arrested are abroad. So anybody whose name is figuring. Like Lakhbir Landa, he is the yes. one who is, you so, know, so many FIRs are there against him yes. for making extortion calls. Extortion calls, yes, he's, since he's based uh, abroad. So he is getting the calls uh, made from through uh, with the use of voice over internet protocols and hiding and masking VPNs and using all that stuff. Then they can send some small uh, criminals who are just young boys who are just beginning their careers to carry out uh, random fi uh, fire shots at the, the person from whom they are trying to extort money. And ultimately the police uh, is able to identify those people and we have booked so many of them. And m in most of the cases the persons or the foot soldiers get caught but then again they get some fresh uh, recruits and who again carry out uh, some kind of uh, this kind of activity. So how do these gangsters recruit people? Is it they offer them money or offer them you know uh, maybe a life abroad, migration? There are various things with these small uh, time, they are very, uh, these youth are very vulnerable. Mm -hmm. If you remember in the uh, RPG attack in uh, uh, Mohali as well as uh, in Sarhali police station, mm -hmm. the, the persons who were involved were, in, in that case Landa was involved, so the persons who were apprehended were minors, 18 years, 19 years, 20 years and those boys did not even know what they were doing. And how much were they paid? Some Some were paid 10,000. Only 10,000. The actual guy who carried out the RPG attack uh, was paid 1 lakh, which before he was given 1 lakh to before he went to fire that. But the other guy took it back from him and he said, Ki, you go and execute it and come back and collect it from me. Okay. Which was he, before he could collect that, we apprehended him. So some of them were like, we bought them new clothes got them uh, uh, treated for uh, pizzas and burgers and only they were only just oh yeah, yeah only for this thing they will attack the police officer they, they don't even know that what they are doing no this is these those boys who are facilitating hmm. carrying weapons from a point to b okay. keeping it there and picking somebody else is goes and picks it up and hands it to c so that you know a doesn't know who c is and c doesn't know who a is so virksab how how do you crack these guys jade and they camouflage the phones kar de ne, you know, and, and they gangs ne recruit kar de ne. Uh, with the help of uh, human and, and uh, technical uh, uh, devices and uh, we used to crack these uh, things but uh, basically it depends on the information which we collect from the various sources like we get the information from the already convicts who are lodged in jails and jails are the main sources of information. But why can't we stop mobiles in jails? It's, it's, it's like the university of crime now. Uh, jails, uh, uh, some of the criminals they are using, uh, but uh, uh, we used to catch them and uh, the recoveries have been made uh, time to time where the checkings, uh, sudden checkings, surprise checkings took place in the jails. And uh, so the, this, there is no involvement of the uh, any uh, other people, but uh, it happens sometimes, but we used to catch them. Brother, sir, you see our main part is your AGTF anti-gangster task force day. So, how many gangsters have you captured or neutralized? We are working as a team since 2016. Right. AG sir, Gurmeet sir was heading it, and our team be since there are our inspectors, ASIs, constables. We are all working as a team since then. So, काफी ऐसे टैंक जिधर सारी टीम ने दस गैंगस्टर न्यूट्रलाइज की थे ने उन तक तो काफी न्यूट्रलाइज मींस एनकाउंटर्स एनकाउंटर्स आर मोर समवर इंजर्ड इन एनकाउंटर्स न्यूट्रलाइज मींस हु आर हु हैव लॉस्ट देयर लाइफ्स व्हेन दे ट्राइ टू टैक अस जो रोना ने सारे ते फायर दे ओपन दे फायर सो इन रिटेलिएशन 
we have uh, near about 10 we have neutralized so far and uh, arrests are more than uh, hardcore criminal ne, like Naba jailbreak, main accused Gurpi Sekho, others, they were top malab, mastermind of this Naba jailbreak. We have, malab, the operations went on for 3-3 three, three months. Sir knows everything, how malab, we cannot tell some things in, in front of everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, were, uh, we were successful in arresting them. But this guy, Romi, was the one who figured in every arrest that Romi is uh, controlling them, he's handling them. So our main mission and our main uh, point was there to arrest him soon. Thodak, one of the biggest challenge you had was uh, Sidhu Musewala's murder. And I think AGTF was the first team to... So is there something else in that case? Kuch aisa arrest hai jo haje Sidhu Musewala case chhon wala hai. Is the investigation over? The investigation is continuing as far as the main accused, the conspirators are um, con concerned. Goldie Brads uh, is one of the main uh, conspirators, Anmol Vishnoi is uh, another one. So, um, as far as that goes, yes, they are still wanted. And uh, maybe there are few others also, uh, which uh, the family of uh, uh, Mr. Shubdeep has uh, leveled allegations against. Mm -hmm. Some of them are yet to be accounted for. So, those, those questions can only be answered when we get the main conspirators. That uh, is Goldie that Brad. Is Goldie Brad. Um, so we, we have uh, enough evidence so against him. Do we know where is Goldie Brad and Anmol Vishnu? That is, that is a, you know, keep, that's what uh, the whole pro uh, problem is. If once we get the red corner notices issued through the Interpol, then it is the responsibility of the um, Interpol member countries or the uh, police forces or the agencies of the various countries mm -hmm. to locate or they happen to catch them by chance when they were they board the flights or and through random checks like this Romi guy was apprehended by the Hong Kong police. Mm -hmm. Similarly, um, in most of the cases, it is the local police which arrests a person and then knowing that this person has a uh, warrant against him, international warrant against him, that is the red corner notice, they inform the member country. So we are, uh, as far as Punjab police is concerned, we have done our bit, we have evidence, we have… Of uh, Goldie Brad and Mohan Vishnu. On all those involved. So we have given that information, shared that information through uh, the Interpol to all the member countries of the Interpol. So now God knows he may be in Africa, he may be in Canada. Mm -hmm. So wherever he is apprehended. But rest all is talk that he is in, uh, in a such and such country mm -hmm. till such time that he is apprehended because there have been uh, the uh, agencies of uh, United States and Canada are also in touch with the uh, central agencies in Delhi. So they are constantly on it and they are working for it. So once it would be one um, lucky day that we would be able to get him back. So, one question which lot of our readers, you know, they put on comments that first is ki gangster, ek ladka gangster chawan kyon banda hai? Te ki inna de le koi way back hai? Like Gurpreet Sekho, I recently met him. Uh, he is on his home. He is uh, back his home and back to his home. But it seems ki ho wapas aa rea hai, you know, in mainstream to. I don't know how true it is. So, to what is your experience? Unde, to see, to na no interrogate kar deo. You you spend time with them. Why do they become gangsters? Like I said, they this is just the allure for uh, allurement, hai, and they look at these these uh, gangsters or whatever criminals. They become icons because of the social media. They portray themselves uh, or they are portrayed as larger than life image. They carry larger than life images, and which inspire. Um, some youth who are uh, led astray for different reasons, family or uh, you know uh, any other reason. So these small boys fall prey to that allurement. I'll give you a very small, small example. If I don't know, uh, I think we had talked about it. In one case, uh, this Jaipal gang uh, pull mm -hmm. puller was a gangster who was killed in uh, Calcutta in a police encounter with the Calcutta police. So um, he had a fan following. After his murder, after his uh, uh, his uh, killing took place, a group of people were, you know, uh, in sympathy and something. Better. One odd uh, chap from Karnal or Panipat region contacted and 
contacted him through a message mm -hmm. to the person who was uh, running that page and say he said that he was inspired by him and he wanted to meet him and he had a he was his fan and if he's so that guy who was uh, um, an associate of uh, Jaipal Puller contacted him okay. and spoke to him and he asked him what do you want to do hmm. he said be i want uh, an ak47 and i want to sort out a few people who i, I have a problem with and who are uh, notorious in my area hmm. that guy was facilitated with an ak47 okay through those uh, persons who were uh, hmm. associates of jaipal hmm. and that he was later apprehended by um, uh, punjab police uh, along with the haryana police we carried out an operation hmm. in panipat area but that um, what i'm trying to tell you is ki this social media um, uh, is portrays a person in such a way like there would be so many people who would be trying to follow lorenz bishnoi mm -hmm. and trying to seek his attention by asking him to give him some task so that they can prove their worth and maybe join the gang in uh, the earlier example i gave you of the rpg attack in that case uh, we had apprehended about 8 to 10 boys young boys and looking at their careers and their role and uh, um, and then the kind of involvement that they had the limit that they the involvement they uh, that was we took it up with matter with the dgp police punjab mm -hmm. mr gaurav yadav and the senior officers at that time mm -hmm. and we let them off we gave them a warning we gave them a chance to uh, oh, reform man. and come into the mainstream and if you look at there is lot of uh, their parents were so thankful to the police and that was that was a goodwill gesture of the punjab police that we carried out and we wanted to uh, you know send a message that don't get misled uh, misled by these uh, and don't fall prey to these guys so so have they like acted on your advice yes yes most of them are uh, are on track on living and, normal yeah, life normal lives and uh, i'm sure you can contact them uh, the uv we, we can provide whatever the, uh, the addresses and whatever mm -hmm. so they are at least so we give them a chance it is not that punjab police is uh out to make people uh, you know criminals. criminals that's not our aim there, our is, aim a, is, there is a human touch there is a human touch and all of us are we have our children tomorrow uh, uh, all of us have we are families so we look at in that so some angle. persons can be victim of circumstances there are i mean exploitations it is it is not just uh, being uh, allured but it is also their willingness to participate in a crime knowing that it is a crime that they start uh, you know indulging in such criminal activities ultimately uh, our message to all that those kind of uh, uh, youth is to refrain from associating with these uh, criminals and because one day or the other law is going to catch you and once you have a criminal record there is no future left for you you know you will not get a job even in a private sector mm -hmm. so that is Uh, the kind of uh, and the parents the role of parents comes in school teachers comes in police yeah, so comes in at a later something. stage i'll just add to sir that what uh, these gangsters these students youngsters on f uh, when they see you on facebook they just get eulogizing by seeing weapons and all mm -hmm. but recently mm -hmm. from agtf through dgp saab punjab and adg saab bhan sir we have closed about 350 accounts 350, 350 accounts, accounts of gangsters of gangsters who are eulogizing all the youth with weapons and guns so we uh, this is one platform which really motivates the youth to uh, get guns and all so we are doing that also we, we have, have a social media accounts. monitoring team so okay. we are constantly monitoring uh, social media also of where uh, such activities are carried out we get them you know request send a request to block those channels okay. we have already blocked so much so one thing which comes up in the cases is how these gangsters are meeting the terrorist modules are being used by isi to pump in drugs fake currency weapons you know so how big is their network so the 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 first instance of gangsters nexus with the terrorists came in the uh, naba jail break investigations okay the first time ever first time ever that is what makes this so important yes so that is why the two of the klf guys and along with four gangsters together had managed to flee from the custody and it was coordinated 
and um, in such a manner so there was obviously an element behind who was uh, acting or who was giving directions and it is uh, I, our investigations had revealed that ramanjit romi mm. was also linked up with those uh, uh, radicals who were based abroad in pakistan and probably there was a connection between uh, the um, isi sikh radicals and romi in, in the escape of uh, these criminals from, from nabache and sir uh, brasa one last question to you uh, which was the most shocking case of a gangster jo tonu experience hoya uh, what crime they did you yeah. want to say i mean about his life or something did he bahut koi glorious life which was disturbed our uh, best case was japal pullers investigation mm -hmm. and this naba jail break they are the two cases which have taught us whole team especially me a lot i have learned a lot in these cases how to investigate crack cases and especially jaipal puller who was a lobed since uh, from last 12 years we were not able to find any footprints of him mm -hmm. but when he killed our constable we again matlab as a team under sir's leadership and uh, dgp sir dinkar sir was there and uh, aj chohan sir was there whole team we just were after uh, him where he have to get him and within 20 days with the input shared by punjab police calcutta police he was, he was located in calcutta yes that Wilson, was you you handle lot of legal aspect of these cases so ki ki challenges aandi ne inna nu legally constrain karan de le uh, legally we have to face challenges like uh, uh, like in this case like ramanjit rome we have to uh, get him back from uh, the foreign soil and you have to st uh, legally establish your case uh, uh, on the based of facts and uh, with the entire evidence what you collected during in this uh, cases and main challenging is this is the it depends on the political will of the country is more it depends on the political will to which country you are dealing if you that uh, requesting country for extradition in the cases of extradition like requesting country and requested country if they both uh, uh, desire to extradite uh, then it makes then more simple and there is a lot of uh, agencies uh, like uh, channels diplomatic channels which we have to follow the which, which is a long process there as we have to uh, there are at a central government level mha ministry of home affairs ministry of external affairs and uh, that is why it's a long drawn process it's a long process and first uh, uh, interpol we have to send some documents and get issued the red card notices from the interpol and uh, even sometimes we know that the uh, fugitive is in that country but we have first uh, interpol have to locate and inform us sir are most of the gangsters now in canada Uh, mostly uh, you, you can figure out that uh, you can say that they are in canada and even in uh, us and uh, in another country like in germany but canadian government is not helping much uh, there are reports like we can't say that uh, they are not helping we have to follow the legal procedure first and uh, uh, it never happens like that they are not uh, assisting uh, the indian government mm -hmm. there is a policy of uh, both the governments to uh it's against criminal and against terrorism against terrorist and uh, but the one thing is that that the legal channel process is very uh, it takes too much it long time chaun sa my last question to you i remember in your office there used to be a board where you know photos of all the top gangsters were there and whenever you caught him or neutralized him you will cross the photo so is there any photo which is uncrossed <laughs> there are some criminals like uh, who are still wanted by us uh, there is a list uh, of criminals but most of them are absconding and most of them according to our informations are uh, uh, out of the country out of the country yeah so that the, how, what is the number of gang and gang members there are about 6 uh, gangs which were uh, uh, operating in punjab in different uh, through six different six big gangs yes big and small okay but uh, who are out of them just f like a uh, uh, couple of them are active and most of their activities are um, inter gang mm -hmm. rivalry okay so if any of the uh, gang members 
the main gang rivalry is between the uh, Loris Bishnoi gang and the uh, Lucky Patel uh, uh, Bambiha gang. So, uh, Lucky Patel is heading the Bambiha Bambi gang. So, yeah. So, that rivalry is between the, the two of them. In the in that process, they carry out some killing of their gang members. That is one part of it. But otherwise, I, like I told you earlier, there is no major crime of gangsters that is pending or under investigation. So, uh, so in, can in we say this on record that gangsters are not active in Punjab? No, I, I on the soil. We of have uh, them under control. Whatever crime, petty crime does take place, that is why there is police. So crime 100% uh, uh, if you say you can control 100% of the crime, crime takes place all over the world. That is why you have police forces all over the, you know. And we are just one police force and we are doing our duty with dedication and commitment under the guidance of uh, our worthy DGP, Mr. Gaurav Yadav. And on the directions of the government of Punjab, we are following it meticulously to ensure that there is um, a safe environment. Having said that, there is petty crime, there, is, there are some uh, mine, uh, incidents do take place, but through th because of the social media, the uh, circulation on through social media, the crimes get amplified mm -hmm. and that instills yeah, more fear also. and that instills more fear among the uh, local public. Well, sir, thank you for coming and uh, we hope that the AGTF continues to control the gangsters and Punjab remains peaceful. At the same time, uh, the uh, state residents will also have to come forward and cooperate with the police. Thank you.